Hi. If you do track days or hobby racing, endurance racing, you should log your driving. It's a good way to learn uh, if you get better and how to get better. There are many different options price-wise how to do this. I thought I'd go through some different roads with quite different price points. To start, you have a mobile phone and you can use that. You just install a free or cheap pay app like Race Chrono or Harry's Lap Timer. And then you use the phone's built-in GPS receiver to log your driving. The phones normally have a one hertz GPS that updates once every second. The precision is actually pretty good when it comes to lap times. So when you're out driving on the day, you can use your phone to see what your last lap time was, your personal best, and also if you're faster or slower on the current lap compared to your personal best. But it will not give you good data, good quality data, to analyze what you did. It will not show you your corner speed, it will not show you top speed on the straight, because with updates with one second apart, it is simply too coarse. But that's easily solved. You buy an external GPS uh, with a higher update rate, and GPSs with a 10 hertz update rate has been around for quite a while. You can get one for about $100 roughly. Lately, though, there's a new generation of GPS ships. This is the Racebox Mini that have a 25 hertz update rate. So does 10 hertz or 25 hertz matter? No, not really. For us hobby drivers, the 10 hertz update rate is actually quite enough to see your brake point, how, are you, how hard are you braking, where do you place your minimum speed in the corners, where do you put your apex and so on. But the quality of the data is better as what I've seen anyway when using this one. There, there's less noise and disturbances in the data. So when you look at the speed curves, um, you don't have to wonder, did I do that speed change or was that just a, a measuring error? Uh, so. Uh, I can recommend this definitely, but they are a bit more expensive. I think this one is about $200, give or take. So they're a bit more expensive than the, the, the older ones. Um, next step is this kind of uh, box without the display, but with built-in memory. With those, you can just throw it in the car, drive all day, and when you get back home, you can download the data and, uh, and, and analyze. It doesn't give you any help during the day, although you can use those also with the app, but what's the point of the built-in memory then? Uh, so, uh, but that's an option if you just, if you don't care what you're doing where you, when you're there, just want to check it out afterwards, then you can buy one of these with uh, this type with built-in memory. But next step is with the display. Um, this is a new one from QSTARS called 8000 GT. It's similar to this one, but it's got memory and a display. This is if you want to have one simple box and not bother with apps and, and cables or you know, keep track of lots of tech. You just place this in your car and you drive and it will give you the same type of display when you're on the track with uh, best lap time, current lap time, and also if you're faster or slower on the current lap. You do have the possibility to look at logs. You get lap times listed, sector times, but to be honest, this will not help you much. You have uh, speed curves like this, this will not tell you anything really. That doesn't matter, you can still download the data afterwards to your computer or online. QSTARS have a, an online web community where you can compare your lap times to, to other drivers and so on. But this is good if you just want one simple piece of kit, put in your car, have a display of lap times, you don't want to use your mobile phone, and you can 
use the data afterwards. But this is if, if you just don't want to use your phone. So a cheap GPS, uh, about 100 bucks, a bit more like the double, but a bit more for uh, 25 hertz. And then double again. I, I'm not sure exactly what this would cost, but five, six hundred dollars, I would say. If you double that again, you get this. You get the Garmin Catalyst. So now we're talking over a thousand bucks. This is something completely different. The thing that is common is that you don't need to use your mobile phone. So it's one kit like this. Uh, this has a camera, an external camera. So you need to wire that up. But once that wired up and installed in your windscreen, then you just take this with you and, and snap it in in the car. You can export video. Race Chrono and Harris, you can record with the, the mobile phones. Uh, camera or, or a GoPro and then um, join them together. Same here, you can use an external uh, camera, uh, no camera in this one, but you need third party programs, so not perfect. With this one, you just do a couple of clicks and it will export the, the video for you. But from a learning point of view, this is completely different. With this, you need to look at the GPS data, the speed curves, uh, diagrams, and you need to figure out why you were faster. So you, you can see that you started braking a bit earlier compared to another lap, and uh, you got a fast lap time, and you need to figure out why. Did you have an earlier apex? Uh, did you accelerate earlier out of the corner and so on? This one helps you with that. This helps you analyze. What this does is that it remembers what you're doing uh, during the day. Uh, say that on lap four, in corner five, you took an earlier apex. And since it's a combined section, that ended up good. You were fast through the sector, but you got a bad lap time because you had to overtake someone uh, somewhere else. You didn't even notice that you were better in those two corners, uh, you saw you had a worse lap time. This one knows. So this keeps track on when you do something better in a specific corner, and it will then actually nag, <laughs> remind you, uh, to do it that, the way that was optimal. And it will tell you, um, now take an early apex in this corner when you approach it. This one's not so good for long-term keeping track of what you did last year. If you did changes to the car, did that help in what way? This is more on the day where, when you're on the track. If it's a two day event, it will, as I understand it, work also, but it's, it's not a long-term progress database for you. The apps and the PC software are better if you want to compare to, to old sessions and so on. But other than that, it's, it's a great tool. To be honest, <laughs> I use this and that. <laughs> yeah, lots of boxes and cables and crap. But this is perfect when I'm out driving to help me understand, to remind me, make me focus. So it'll help me to keep track of, of what I do during the day. And this keeps me informed about long-term changes. Why was I faster last year? <laughs> it happens. So, um, phone, uh, zero bucks. Cheap GPS, 100 bucks. Uh, newer, better quality GPS, 250, 300, somewhere. I probably drop in price. Double again somewhere around five, six hundred, I think, um, if you don't want your mobile phone. And double again if you really want to get help on, on improve your, your skills on the track. That's it. And um, if you want, please come visit at theresa.nu. Cheers. <laughs>